Emotions are so raw here in Saskatchewan. Sadness, but a lot of anger too. This discovery did not come as a shock to the people here, but it has renewed the call for accountability. On the doors of St. Paul Co Cathedral in downtown Saskatoon, the rage is clear. We were children, the graffiti reads in blood red paint. Vandalism that took place Thursday on the same day the Cowessess First Nation announced the discovery of as many as 751 people in unmarked graves outside the site of the former Maryvale Indian Residential School. There's a lot of layers to this. And, uh, I, I, you know, if I, I might say, you know, this is a long-term process and um, anger is legitimate, you know, anger and it needs to be heard and, and you can't force someone through their anger and all that is with it. I was taken from my family when I was three years old. Gracia Perkins spent six years at the school, her earliest memories filled with abuse. As punishment, she says she was often locked in a dark closet alone. It was terrifying to be locked in that dark broom closet. How old were you? For years, she suspected children were buried on the site. Her own cousin was killed in an accident at the school. Discovering the graves, she says, is important for everyone. Very important. Because I remember looking at those swings in the summertime, in the evening, and it was just calm out and those swings would always be swinging, just like little kids were playing on there. But Perkins is looking for accountability and answers from the church as well. The missionary of Oblates of Mary Immaculate ran dozens of residential schools, including the ones on Cowess's First Nation and in Kamloops. It has still not disclosed all of its historical documents. In a statement, it says it has worked to make our historical documents available, but progress has been complicated by issues of provincial and national privacy laws. Every single document has to be accessible uh, in order to properly identify children, know where they went, because not all graves are going to be known. Leaving communities to grieve with each new discovery. Members of the Cowessess First Nation plan to gather at the site of the unmarked graves for a community vigil on Saturday night. There is just so much grief here for families. And while there is a need for time and space to heal, there are also a lot of questions that need to be answered too. Donna? All right, Heather Yorick's West near the Cowessess First Nation in Saskatchewan. Thanks.